I'm back. And get a lot of requests for this tune. Um, Richard Thompson, 1952, Vincent Black Lightning. So I've tuned the A string down to G, the low E down to C, capo on three. That puts you in the key of B flat. So this strummed is basically a B flat with a G on top. Uh, it's a B flat six. So how do you learn tunes by ear? Um, basically the way I teach these is um, just like I'm going to teach a student sitting across from me. So it's just basically the same thing. Uh, first you got to figure out what key it's in. I've already done that. It's in B flat. Now you got to figure out the chords. Uh, it's in a major tonality. So then the major scale um, comes into play. So that means your one, four, five are major chords typically. Uh, and your two, three, and six chords are minor. So here is the voicing for your number one chord, your B flat. One finger, right here, okay? And then uh, your four chord is gonna be voiced just like this and make a C, but don't use your third finger. And then do all the strings, okay? And then, if you slide that up, there's your five. Now, sometimes he's going to do this. I'll go over the pick in here in a minute. Scoot back a little bit. Okay, so, one chord. Four chord. Five chord. That's a sus. That's a four over five. And then sometimes he makes a proper five chord, so your thumb can hang over here. Fifth fret, remember we're tuned down. So. That's that little pickup in the verse. Here's your two chord. Instead of an A minor seven, since you tuned your A string down, you have to fret the A string. So now it's like an E minor shape. Uh, don't hit the top string like I just did. So fifth string down. So this is uh, fourth fret here, second string. And then back to C. So I'll give you an overview real quick, and then I'll show you the lick. So that's that's basically the outline of the entire tune. And then now here's the lick. I'll get close. Sixth fret, second string. So it is a pentatonic pattern. Pentatonic lick. Guitar players are great at those. Those are the notes. Six, eight. Six, eight, ten. But it's played this way. Those are hammer ons. Hammer on. bass going while you're doing all that, right? Right? So I'm doing this with my middle finger 
of using the first finger sometimes to grab some of those up notes. When I have to do a note like that, uh, I'll use both fingers. top two strings were changed, the tuning, but the 4-3-2 string, same. So, this is a B-flat triad. And then this little five. Back to four. Play it again. He plays it about this speed. I'm playing it too fast. six here. This is one of the few songs, I can't think of another song that Richard Thompson plays where he has to use the thumb pick. Uh, most of his playing, he's holding a flat pick and he's hybrid picking. So he's using the middle and the third fingers for all those little chicken picking things. But this one is so quick that he cannot, I haven't seen him pull it off with a holding a flat pick and using a hybrid picking. He may could. But every time I've seen him, he keeps a thumb pick hanging right here on his Loudon for this song. So when he reaches for that thumb pick, you know what song's coming next. So this is the only one I think he does with the thumb pick. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. You just identify the chords you, you uh, are going to play. You identify how fast they change. It's called harmonic rhythm. And then any licks you have or any sort of like setups, vocal setups. Like <laughs> so you know he's setting up that vocal. solo licks he does it they change live all that is is a B flat a, a dyad a B flat and a F And then all your um, stuff works. I just had a text. 
kicks come through. That was like a, totally nothing to do with Richard Thompson. So uh, that's why, you know, hey, if you look down on a high wire, you're gonna fall off. That's exactly what just happened right there. So, speed up try and practice with the metronome I'm speeding up now so I'm trying to get through it um, and demonstrate a couple different sections of the tune um, however if you're trying to sing and play like I typically try and do when I'm playing it you're gonna be in trouble trying to sing it and play it speeding up so don't do that so try and pick your pace and tap your foot you know that you're in good hands you know you're in good shape when you can tap your foot and sing and keep this going and don't drop the beat. Once you're done with your verse and you do your chorus, if you want to drag it just a little bit before you start singing again, I, I started to drag it. Then you can get quieter and you can set yourself up to sing the second verse. You know, because of, uh, you'll probably want to speed up if you're if you have the chops that you can get to the solo section and do the solo. Uh, you might want to speed up, you're gonna get into it, you know, and uh, you're, you're happy that uh, you made it halfway through this tune. Because uh, there's a lot of lyrics and a lot of picking. Um, you can totally screw this up, uh, you know, if you start it too quick. Um, you know, I have started it too quick and I was, I was, uh, you know, I was about to have a blowout. The, the tread was about to come off the tires. I, I, I made it through it. But uh, I remind myself before I do this tune, hey, uh, you're telling a story here. You don't have to be like the guy in those uh, car insurance commercials. Tax of tax, tax of tax of tax of tax You know what I mean? Don't do that. <laughs> so. those notes let those notes ring out as long as you can because that helps help set the pace as well Thanks for 
for tuning in. Cheers.